Fans, welcome to this week's edition of After the Bell. I'm your host, the fan advocate, Terry Bodie, and with me this week is a very special guest. Fans, please welcome the official TNA knockout referee, Taryn Terrell. Taryn, welcome to OVW and welcome to After the Bell. Thanks. I'm so excited to be here. Well, we're definitely excited to have you. What a surprise that Trailer Park Trash brings out at the last Saturday night special. <laughs> and out of all the referees that are there, to have you come out... And what a situation to find yourself in, in the middle of things here involving this ladies' championship and Taylor Hendricks. But we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, yeah exactly. But the fans will kind of want to get, exactly. we've, been do, <laughs> we've been doing that for months. But we want to try to get to know a little bit more about you. We know in August you got the phone call from Brooke Hogan. Obviously, there was the issues going on. Madison Rain was was using her assets to try to influence the male referees in, in yes. TNA. She calls you up. What was it like to get the call from Brooke Hogan to say that you were going to be responsible for the TNA knockouts? Well, it's kind of crazy. I mean, like, Brooke Hogan calls me, right? Like, <laughs> really? Like, hmm, okay, cool. And she's, like, explaining everything and telling me, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I've seen what's been going on on TV, and this is ridiculous, and... Like, does Earl Hebner really think that Madison wants him? I mean, really? But whatever, that's another story. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so when she explained everything to me, I was like, girl, I've got your back. Like, I will come in, and I've, you know, I've been involved in wrestling, and, you know, obviously, like, I am still learning. I still have so much to learn. But, um, but my whole goal is to just keep everything fair. You know, there's so many girls that want to take shortcuts and cheat, and um, I'm just not going to have any of that. And obviously, yes, you mentioned it yourself. You've been in the ring with Hall of Famers. Your wrestling career speaks for itself. And now you find yourself in this role of referee. What's been the biggest challenge that you found now finding yourself in a position of authority and dictating and, and keeping things fair for the ladies, both here at OVW and in TNA? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that there are some girls that really hate having me as a referee. And they want to kind of bully me and push me around. And it's almost like because I'm another woman, you know, you know how it is. Women get around other women. They get all catty and they so don't like it and they get jealous and everything else. And so I think that, you know, that aspect really comes into play. And um, so that's really tough. It's really tough sometimes to make them understand that they do have to listen to me, that they do have to respect the fact that I'm a referee. They don't have to like me. I don't care. You don't have to like me. But if you're going to cheat in a match... I'm going to disqualify you, or I'm going to throw this match out. You know, it's it's ridiculous that they think that they can get away with all that stuff. So I have to keep them at bay. You know, I have to keep them behaved and let them know that if they do something wrong, I'm going to come down on them. <laughs> and you definitely have been doing that. You've been laying the law since you've taken over in August, and, and the effects are well well documented, which you've seen <laughs> with what goes on. But let's step away from the ring for a second. Let's, let's, what was it that first got you interested in wrestling? When did you first become a fan of professional wrestling and decide that this is what you want to do? Well, you know, I've, I've told people before, and I, I know that there's so many people that grow up just watching wrestling from day one, and this is everything that they've always lived for. That wasn't my case. And I, you know, I grew up and I was always an athlete. Um, I did powerlifting, cheerleading in high school and college. Um, it was actually when I was in college, and I had a friend who was, I was probably 18 at the time, I had a friend who was obsessed with wrestling, and he was like, you have to come to a show, you have to come to a show, and I'm like, okay, sure, I mean, sounds like something I would enjoy, and um, I was like, I went to the show, and I remember we had front row tickets, and I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, that's what I want to do. I just figured out what I want to do. People ask me what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's what I want to do. I was so excited. So it was just, it was this perfect hybrid of athleticism and beauty. You know, as a, as a woman wrestler, I mean, that's what you get to do. You get to be beautiful and you get to kick ass while you're doing it. Like, how freaking cool is that? Like, that's my dream, dream job. So I was like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get into that ring. I'm going to move from the front row into that ring. And that's what I did. Well, we're definitely glad you did. I mean, I can tell you as the fan advocate, that's what the fans love to see and to be able to know what it's like to go from that seat over the barricade, as we say. But another thing that maybe the fans don't know about you 
is what you do outside of the ring. You are involved in a very special foundation. Would you like to tell the OVW fans what you're involved with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm involved with Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. My sister actually has cystic fibrosis, and it's a disease that is terminal. Um, normally, the life expectancy is somewhere between like 35 and 45. When she was born, it was only 18. But because of this foundation and because of people donating, going to walks, raising awareness, um, the life expectancy from the time she was born um, was 18. Now she's 25 years old, and it's already gone up to 35 to 45 years old which is amazing. I mean, that's years on my sister's life. So obviously it's something extremely close to my heart. It's a disease where it's, um, it's a, a buildup of fluids and it sounds gross, but mucus in a body and it ends up just going into their intestinal system and into their lungs and eventually pretty much smothers them, just suffocates them. So it's a really terrible disease and there is no cure. And um, we're just fighting to, to add years on to everyone that's affected in my sister's life. So how can the fans get behind you and get behind such a worthy cause? Is there something that they can go to, a website or anything that they yeah, can go to? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, CF, CFF.org okay. is the website. And there's information on walks, how to donate, how to get involved. Um, you know, and I even tell people, like, if you don't have money to, to donate, just raise awareness. Get on Twitter. Let people know that this is a disease that it affects children. Um, that's the main, you know, a lot of kids, they don't even grow out of it. They're, they usually, you know, pass before they're teenagers. Um, the couple of them that are lucky and they're strong enough to make it into their 30s, it's amazing. So it's really important to raise awareness, and um, I would really appreciate it if everybody would um, be able to do that. And then I'll post that as well on my Twitter account, which is at the Terrence Terrell. All right, and fans, you can get to that from my Twitter as well at, at TP Bodie. We're going to go ahead and put all that information out there. You, the great Ohio Valley Wrestling fans, are going to stand up and do what you always do. Taryn, is there anything that you'd like to say to the great fans before we wrap up? I know, you gotta, I know you're heading out to go down to Orlando yes. to, go, to go deal with what's going on there, so I know your time is right. But is there any last words or anything you'd like to share with the fans before, before you get on a plane? Yeah, absolutely. I know I've got like just a couple hours to sleep tonight. And I've got, I, somehow I have seven hours of travel time from Louisville to Orlando. I'm not really sure how that happened. Um, but I have had such an amazing welcome in Louisville. I'm I know I just say that wrong, and everybody says, I can't even say it. I say Louisville, which is, no, it's totally wrong, but that's okay, right? You guys forgive me, right? Um, but everybody's been so nice and welcoming, and you guys, the fans, are amazing, and I'm just really thankful and grateful that you guys have um, welcomed me with open arms. Thank you so much. Well, Taryn, we definitely thank you. We thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you for the inspiration you're providing to the fans with what you're doing in the ring and being a, being a stand-up person for fairness and what you're doing for cystic fibrosis. And we're going to follow and help you save with your sister as well. Fans, with that, we're going to wrap up this very special edition of After the Bell. For TNA Knockout referee Taryn Terrell, I'm the fan advocate Terry Bodie, and I'll see you at the shows.